Cool. Cool. Okay. Yeah, hello, my name is Alan Carr. Uh, we're just busy showing the performance of QML on an N900 device. Uh, so, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty performant. Different animation easing curves that we actually have. So again, this device has been out now for the past two years. Yeah, that looks very nice. To say the least. Yeah. And then the mapping functionality, I think, is actually a placeholder. I don't think it actually functions, but up. Oh. I think corrected. Oh, we've got a map, is it? Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. And, and um, let's talk about the hardware acceleration on this. Yeah. Um, so I'm not directly responsible for this device, uh, but like um, I can clearly see it's using QML. Um, the actual the, the base hardware inside of the N900 is very similar to that of a bigger board. Um, so it's OMAP3 based. Um, so again, you can see some performance. This is running directly on a bigger board. Um, as you can see, it's actually it's more performant than the N900. Uh, the resolution looks comparable. I believe on the N100 is 800 by 480. Whereas, yeah, I can't actually test for what this actually is right now. Yeah. But uh, as you can see, the, the, there's clear use of acceleration. Um, I'm assuming there's a setting a GL widget on the actual viewport. Uh, it certainly looks like it. But, yeah, as you can see, for like a low resolution devices, um, it's, it's highly performant. Uh -huh. Okay, brilliant. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, much appreciate. Do you have to use your browser?